Reed Johnson here, and we are now going to add some openings. You can see on this smartwatch, we've got an opening on the left and the right side to this smartwatch. So here in Fusion 360, the way to create these openings is to go ahead and create a couple of additional circles as sketches to create our openings. I'm going to start the sketch command underneath sketch, the drop down here. I can click on this, find the circle command, find the center diameter circle. I'm asked now to pick one of the planes, either one of the horizontal or vertical planes. I want the horizontal plane right in the center of the smartwatch. I click that. You'll notice it reorients me to the top view, so I'm looking directly down at the smartwatch. I can pan by pressing my middle mouse button and pan to center this, or you can use the pan tool here at the bottom. Now I can start this command by hovering right over the center of the watch. You'll notice I get a blue snap indication to show I'm right in the middle. So I'll click one time there and I'll pull away to start to create this circle. I want this to be a precise dimension. I want it to be three inches. So I'm going to type in three on my keyboard, three, and then enter to lock that in. Now if I move my mouse, it stays locked in at three inches. I'll click here off to the side a second time and that's going to set that circle. Now I did this circle not to create the openings but to create a reference. You notice this 3 inch circle intersects with my 3 inch wristband. So I can get a point at the top and a point at the bottom for reference. Now because it's a reference I don't need the actual sketch line that is here. I just need the reference. So I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. Hit escape and I can right click, apologize, I can first select the circle. So if I highlight it, select it by clicking, then it turns blue, it's selected. Now I can right click and I can change this from a normal to a construction line. And now it's a dashed line. You can see it no longer represents a sketch element, it's just there for reference. Now I can come back and create the actual circles I will use to create the openings in the side of the smartwatch. So I'm going to come back to my sketch, pull this menu down, find circle, center diameter circle, and I'll click to select that. Now I can start at the bottom and make the first circle. You'll notice that I get this dashed line that helps me align the center to this edge and I'll get an X to know that I'm snapped right on the very bottom of that circle. So you want to make sure you, you have some of these guides to help you find that. I'll click one time right there to start the circle. As I pull away, it starts to actually make this circle I'm going to use to cut the opening. Now the dimension I want for this for the diameter is 0.5. So I type that in and hit enter to lock it in. I can move my mouse around and simply click a second time to make that circle. There it is. While I still have the circle command active, I can just jump right to the top here. And again, you'll notice that as I hover over, I can make sure I'm right in the center, right on that tip. I can click to make the center of my circle. I can type in 0.5, enter to lock it in. Click over here a second time and now I've got a second circle. That's what I need, two circles to make those side openings. So from here I can click stop sketch and now I can see the circle in the front and the circle here in the back I'm going to use to create the openings. And to actually create the openings I need the push and pull tool which again is up at the top under modify. I can click here to pull this menu down and I can find the press and pull command. It first asks me to select what do you want to press and pull. So I'm going to find these two circles, one, and I click it, then I come to two, and I click here. They turn blue to let me know I've selected them. There's a blue arrow I can drag up. You'll notice it's starting to cut and make those openings as I drag this up and down. But again, I want to be symmetrical because I base the entire model off the center point of the whole smartwatch. So the symmetry will help me 
get that what it needs to be. And I can type in a distance to be precise. This one's not as critical. As long as it goes past the edge of my smartwatch, I'm okay. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 1.5, inch and a half. And I'll notice there are different options I can do. You know, this could make a new body. It's actually gonna physically model those things. Or I could join it. I could run the intersection, would just be what intersects between the two. But in this case, I want what it thought I wanted, which is cut, and to make those openings. So I select to make sure it says cut, and now I can click OK. Now I've got it, I've got my smartwatch and it's got an opening on the front and the back side of the smartwatch. It's a good time now to hit save to save another version.